up my people welcome back to the channel i'm your boy and seen the dream listen i am coming to you today with a bonus reaction something that doesn't always happen with the channel but guys this track is just different now listen i'm gonna be honest with you i heard the track i heard this track the track i'm gonna be reacting to for this video is the new spirit box track called jaded and i thought this track was so absolutely insane i thought it'd be criminal to not make a video about it and break down everything um detail wise aesthetic wise production wise uh, performance wise in this song and especially because i haven't seen the video so i feel like it would work for another video so let's just do it let's get right into this track all right spirit box jaded let's fucking hit it already beginning like i just like i get oozy vibes i know that's probably so annoying to hear but just the way those synthetics first come in it reminds me so much of oozy or just like some hip-hop track mostly oozy because he's really been playing around with a lot of heavy metal and just like metal core type things so that's where i really get that from immediately immediately it's the guitars and yeah i just can feel the the 808s coming in later There is the legend. God, this shit is just so hard. imagery with this video I expect I visualize something totally different totally different
your box logo right there, baby. And that is what a metalcore's finest, ladies and gentlemen. How could you not? love that track as a metal fan how could you not be absolutely obsessed with it see the thing that is just so oversaturated with metal is not only just you know the typical writing ideas but the arrangements as well the way everything is sequenced and i'm not gonna lie it's still on par and pretty much exactly identical to what metal and what most pop music structures their way of music intros verse chorus bridge that kind of thing it, it really just sticks with its it's same traditional writing templates, which is fine. But the thing that I really do adore about this track that I feel like the band just does so well at is what they do with the layering and with the mix in general. First of all, when you already break into that chorus, I got the impression that what was going on in this setting is that Courtney is like in the middle of this like dead forest, right? And Agony is surrounding this entire environment encompassing her and it's just like falling in acid rain what i really do like with these vocals is that they are so perfectly tucked under that it feels like it is exactly showered over and especially because of how loud and destructive and noisy things can really get how hard these drums can really pound and just like the riffs in general how hard they fucking rip she is piercing through this mix so elegantly, so immensely, it is it's outstanding. I could not believe it. I heard it in every single different way. I heard it in my car, I heard it in, uh, out of my phone, I heard it through my headphones. And it just sounds amazing. Hearing it through my, my stereos right now is just absolutely amazing. This is what metal should be. Automatically thinking about new ideas that bring in some influences not only from your own adversaries but some that try to use it in a different way that kind of feels like closer to them that's why i feel like in this intro it really really felt close to something that felt exactly like an uzi track i don't know if it's just because Lil uzi has been really following along i mean we know that he's really into this rock star aesthetic we just know that he's really going about it especially with the pink tape working a lot with different rock artists like bring me the horizon baby metal and all that kind of stuff but I really do feel like that's turning into a hip hop thing now. And they made it feel like that. I don't know if that was the intention, but it felt like that with the way the synthesizers were like, arpeggiating and just pulsating. Everything felt exactly like how it's about to hit in a hip hop track. And because with metal, I feel like it could get more dramatic, but it didn't get it. It went straight into the cut and it tore this thing apart and let's just get to the most important part the why this track is so successful is because of Courtney LaPlante she was absolutely amazing to do this I loved it you can say all you want say she was monotone sure I don't give a fuck I I wouldn't exactly dispute that all the way I think melodically she has definitely been evolving there's not really that many vocalists in metalcore right now that are that gifted melodically vocally they don't really have that much of a range because most of the time they're already tearing up their vocals because they are screaming their fucking ass off and she has just been incredibly gifted and, and just scaling up this path that has just been so impressive especially with her screaming ability and no i hate it i am done with the people that are going and say like, oh yeah she's a pretty good screamer for a girl that is not the case anymore you need to let that shit go she is just one of the best she is better than some of the best screamers the veterans out there right now she has been destroying i think arguably she competes with like other bands like architects you can even say pierce the veil even though they're not really that heavy anymore definitely i prevail as well it, the list goes on asking alexandria is definitely out of this niche because they can't even work with that kind of hardcore anymore they, they are spirit box is competing they are starting to get like bring me the horizon prime level i am sticking to that opinion i think this is an absolutely incredible performance from Courtney plan she really puts things down on here she's the future of metal music ladies and gentlemen i fucking love her and she makes me love spirit box i thought the song was so fucking badass i love how she's still going about with the heroism i kind of get the the idea of what the topic of discussion is here and just like the steam of what she's kind of going through is sort of like this huge amount of pressure on her shoulders or maybe she's just like speaking about a, a different entity in this certain story that kind of just can't really go through all the pressure and wants to like tell the truth about how they really feel and that maybe they don't really want to 
live this life anymore or live a different life and somewhat they feel the shame they even feel like that but that's kind of where i get that theme from um i feel like i would really love to hear your guys opinion on the lyricism uh, i think it'd be really notable and i think there is definitely something a lot deeper that's going on in this song um it could be cliche as well i'm not really sure but either way sonically this song is a fucking banger it is so fucking good i love it guys make sure to let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of this new track jaded by spirit box thank you guys so much for watching do not forget to like and subscribe to get more content and i'm gonna catch you in the next one Deuces. Take my life. Take my life.